Hello everybody and welcome back to Firewatch. It is smoky and hazy today and we are on our way to Wapiti Station or Wapiti Station, not sure exactly how to pronounce that. Um, we have a new radio that's hopefully untapped to communicate with Delilah and um, let's see exactly where on the map we are. We are... Okay, we're all the way down at Cottonwood Creek. So, in order to get to Wapiti Station, we have got to head back up to Thunder Canyon, head on over, and up from the lake, up from Jonesy Lake. All right, let's go ahead and be on our way. I think we just need to go a little bit east along the river. Um, it's hard to kind of get a sense of direction. I don't know what direction we're facing in. Cache 308 is south of us. So that's south. So this is north. So we want to head this way. Okay. We can go ahead and put away the map. Let's see if there is a promising route back to the Firewatch Tower from here. Hey. I just thought of something not, um, not great. What's up, Delilah? What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that... Delilah! ...a few weeks back. Come on. Oh, shit. My thoughts exactly. Our radios were tapped. And now, someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Fuck, Delilah. Fuck, indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this. I agree. I agree, Delilah. Um, I would be concerned that you lied even just off the bat basis that it was a lie in the first place. I think you should have just told the truth. They would have investigated us, but without hard evidence, it's not like they could arrest us or anything. We obviously didn't kidnap them or kill them. It would be a minor inconvenience, or maybe a major inconvenience at, at worst, dealing with the police about those missing girls. But oh well, what's done is done, we have to move forward. Delilah is a good person, even though she just made this mistake. Um, and uh, hopefully whoever is spying on us isn't going to use that against us. Alright, we want to head north from here. So, we want to take the right fork. It's gorgeous out right now. With the smoke and the orange sun and the blood red sky. Absolutely stunning. But I don't think Henry's in the mood to appreciate stunning beautiful landscapes right now. We are headed to Wapiti Station to get to the bottom of who is creeping on us. All right, so up and around we go. We remember the way. We've been here before. Okay, so Hopefully with the axe, we should just be able to like axe straight through the fence. That's a hope at least. Okay. Is there a way to go from here? I'm guessing we just go upstream. Probably up here. Yeah, this seems right. I seem to recall doing this. Okay, so we go down here. 
into this little canyon. And then up here should be the fence. Perfect. Okay. So, let us put our axe to good use. If I recall correctly, there was another thing we could use our axe on up here, like a broken tree or something? Or was that not here? Was that somewhere else? That may have been somewhere else. Alright, why don't we just find the gate? Where's the gate? I must have missed the gate. Here's the gate. All right. I'm busting the gate down. There's nobody around, and it's the quickest way in. Copy that. Delilah approved. <clears throat> wow, Henry Strong. I smashed open the gate. Should I try to fix or hide this? No, screw it. Okay then. If they're gonna invade our privacy. We're gonna invade theirs. Get out of here, B. Clipboard. I got stung by a bee. Okay. <laughs> is is that it? Yeah. Did it did it hurt? Yes, kind of. Henry. Okay, I'm I'm sorry. Report the important stuff, not this. All right, well, PD station personnel. If you are trying to reach Dr. Simmons, okay, he's the one in charge of the operation. We learned that because he was the one contacting the forest service about getting a controlled burn line to protect his station he is on site from august 15th to october 15th university owned equipment is the responsibility of dr johnson government owned equipment is under the purview of cat ferdinand remember that this is a controlled area and any issues malfunctions or violations should be reported immediately all right we're going to keep nothing to Radio, so Henry's going to radio Delilah about getting stung by a bee. But he's not going to radio Delilah about finding a potentially relevant clipboard with information. Okay, you do you, Henry. Okay, maybe we should be kind of stealthy. We don't, we don't know if this person is here. But judging by the time of night, probably is. I also don't know where we're going. Get our flashlight out, it's getting a little dark. Something tells me Henry's not that stealthy to begin with, so no need to try and try and hide. Okay. Looks like we found something. Okay, I'm at the site. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. D, there is some serious comms equipment out here, wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20-foot tall transmission tower. I mean, they can probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. Okay, this explains how they've been listening to us. Can we destroy their generator? Maybe before destroying things and jumping to conclusions, we should figure out what's actually going on. Okay. I see some more stuff down here. Let's go see what's down here. Whoa, look at the sun. This game does an excellent job of really setting the atmosphere. Now they're doing something with the soil out here too. It's all gridded off. Hey, maybe you were right about the lichens. And there's all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Beeping equipment. <laughs> like what? Dishes and stuff on metal legs. There are wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm not really up on high tech. Well, I was going to say I can give it, a, give it a shot guessing what this is, but I actually have no clue. Not anything I've seen before. This equipment is not stuff from the hardware store. Can I say the other option? How did they get it out here? What's in the box? Alright, I think it's time to explore the tent. Okay, some kind of flashing red light. What's it like? 
It's definitely some sort of monitoring station. Okay. I just I wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. And they know you're there, so see what you can find and get out. Okay. There's something in there that's flashing. I want to just explore around first before I like open up the thing that seems obviously important. This place sleeps three. They've got a row of cots here. So they live and work in the same tent? Yeah, it's all one operation. Okay, like there's three yeah, of them. Like us. I found their main monitoring desk. Oh my god, what do you see? Seriously, at this stage, I'd believe just about anything. There's a box here with a dial. It has a needle, like it measures earthquakes. You mean like a lie detector? Yeah, I'm not sticking around to get hooked up to it. <laughs> I'd go with the earthquake detector. I doubt that's a lie detector. Okay, there's a mess on the desk. A mess. I mean, it's, it's like someone was in a rush or knocked a bunch of stuff over on accident. I mean, this stuff looks like it just got lifted out of the space shuttle. I okay, have to tell you, if it's I not that high stack. NASA, I'd be a hell of a lot happier. Well, they're measuring the barometric pressure, too. Why? Maybe it's just a diversion. Okay. Shit. Got a map here that confirms they're tracking my... our... people's movements. The map's got all sorts of paths and areas marked off on it. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. Are you positive it's you? I'm not sure, but I think so. Hmm. Okay, so there's a log here that tracks the movement of four distinct subjects. You and me? Uh, yeah, definitely me. And I suppose you too. What about the other two? Okay, before we answer that, let's just see what this says. Subject, beacon, frequency, sex, social, role. Subject, beacon, frequent, sex, social, role. What does that mean? It seems like a lot of words all in a row. Subject, we're the subjects. There are like four subjects. Beacon. Don't know what beacon they're talking about. Frequence. Sex, social role. So maybe they're studying the difference between like men and women. Uh, they are listing male, female, male, male. Okay, let's see what this says. 4022, 433.87 megahertz. That's that must be our radio's frequency. Male. I don't know what MO means. Frequent departure from Two Forks area. That's all they're going to say about us. <laughs> we frequently leave. Okay. 914, 433.84 megahertz. Female. Avoidance behavior. Consult previous data. Okay, that might be Delilah because she's the only other female they have listed. Um, 3871, 433.92 megahertz, male. I don't know what M O P E O and N D stand for. Unreciprocated desire for copulation, conflict with other males. Hmm, huh, wonder who that is. And another male. Disproportionate food intake. Okay. Hmm. The two males. Maybe it's the good ones? Maybe the good ones? What if they were following them last summer? God, Henry, I don't know. If they were, there's no way Brian knew. He would have said something. Yeah, I can't imagine a kid like that could have kept this under his hat. We'll talk this over and figure out how to get the hell out of here. Okay. We'll figure out how to get the hell out of here. Bolton board, anything important on here? Nope. I can't read any of that. Okay, time to open the hard case with the big light. I think I found the thing they used to track us. Holy shit. You know, you swear, like, a lot. Not the time, Hank. Yeah, Hank. Anyway, it's called a wave receiver. Looks like it picks up anything that emits a signal. It's got basic orienteering capabilities, everything. Holy. Holy shit, Henry. Yeah, holy shit. They keep this wave receiver thing in a crate. I mean, it looks like their prized piece of equipment. Hmm. So well, they can use it to now. detect, like, radio signals and stuff to track it? Okay, we're going to pick it up and see if we can track them.
All right, what does Delilah have to say uh, okay, about this? This thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What, what's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. Okay, it likes this direction. Maybe it's inside the tent. Is it something here? What am I missing? Feels like we're right here. Is it the lie detector? We seem to be stuck here. Okay, maybe it's on, maybe it's outside the tent, but it's behind the tent. Um, okay. I'm a little confused. Tracking. Oh, I didn't realize I could do that. Okay, we found a black box. What's in the black box? <gasps> that has our names on it. What? Me? What? What is it? There's a folder of reports here. What do they say? Their assessments about the two of us. There's stuff in here about Julia. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus! Henry, do you hear me? It says that you, you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah, uh, okay. They are? How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... I'm so sick of letting huh. these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down. Uh, Think about it. Worst case scenario. Yes. Yeah. Fuck them. They'll dump an ocean of water on it, and these assholes will spend the rest of the summer picking up the pieces. Okay, let's take a moment to read this before we burn the place down. Subject to Lila, age 43. Um, program status review. Um, I think she had circled like six weeks or ten weeks. Ob observational traits. Okay, she's reliable considering alcoholism. So she's an alcoholic, perhaps. She's observant, charismatic, selfish, skewed perception of personal history. Pertinent, observed facts. She's never married. She has no kids, rarely hikes or leaves immediate surroundings. Multiple lovers despite long-term partner, Javier. She is not very susceptible to manipulation. Okay. Interesting. So that's Delilah. We get to finish out our contracts. <laughs> Hell, we'll even call in the. Okay, Henry M, thirty-nine. Program status review were ten weeks. All right, observational traits: comprehensive explorer, keeps to the path, prone to anger, passive. Are we really passive? We're prone to anger. I don't see that being true. Guilty, forthright, and guarded. Subject overview. Subject is fully engaged supervisor, trust yet to be scientifically proven. All signs point towards full cooperation. Update subject may be aware of test. Suggest we disengage if subject decides to leave his post. Okay, so they know that we know. I mean, that's obvious. We were talking about it on the radio a lot. Susceptibility to manipulation, nine. Apparently we're very manipulatable or easily manipulated. Fire. Okay. You don't sound too excited about that. I'm not. Look, worst case scenario. The whole forest burns down along with whoever's in it. <sighs> Fuck. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah actually, I don't think Worst burning case. it down is the the right way to go. Maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah. Yeah, it's Let's rethink definitely this. not the best idea. Ah, uh, so fucking wound up. It's all right. I'm just gonna hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. Okay. Back to two forks. Is there a way out this way, or do we need to go back the way we came? We need to go back the way we came. Okay. It's confirmed we are not paranoid. Somebody has definitely been monitoring us. We are not going crazy. Interesting. Like, you don't really hear stories about this in real life. Like, or maybe I just don't hear stories. Maybe they exist and I just haven't heard them. Like, unconsensual studies, like people studying other people without their consent and spying on them. I, I honestly have not heard of something like this ever happening before. You guys let me know if you've heard of something like this. I just find it, oh my gosh. Oh. Henry. Whoa. I guess they're not going to be able to get back to their camp. Um, Delilah, there's smoke coming from the site. I did not I light it on fire. And the bridge collapsed. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. I didn't burn it. It wasn't me. <sighs> what do we do? We just call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? I don't yeah. want to go close We're to them if they're a pyromaniac. Here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us? I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get they're the covering their out. traces. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. Okay, I was prepared to run all the way back without like skipping a beat. Um, that's clever of them. We we discovered them, and so they decided to burn all the evidence. Uh oh. This receiver just picked something up. Like a signal? It's going beep beep. Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. Alright, I'm on my way now. You know what I just picked up? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? Delilah, now's not the time. We need you in, like, sound mind. Hey D, I don't want to harsh your vibe, but maybe, just maybe, that's a bad idea. Henry, Henry, Henry. What? I see what they were saying about You're alcoholic now. My vibe. My thinking is, I could stay up all night worried I'm gonna lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is, I'm gonna follow this wave receiver. Ooh, I like it when you think. Oh my gosh. Delilah, something is wrong with you. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. Okay, we turned our radio off. Delilah is not going to be helpful for us. She's getting drunk instead of staying alert and dealing with the situation at hand. We're on our own. I wonder if she thinks or if she somehow like slightly suspects that we started the fire and that we're lying. Does she trust us when we tell her that we didn't do it? I hope she does. Okay, we've got something this way. I think we want to go around this way. Yeah, this is probably about right. Gap and bush. Clear. Um. Left clicking is not working. Left clicking is literally just walking me backwards. I think I have to lower my compass maybe? Okay, yeah. I had to lower my compass. There we go. Interesting. Strange backpack. Ah. 
All right, what's in the backpack? Guys, this may be whoever is spying on us. Let's try not to get whacked in the head this time. Okay, they have a forest key. D, I, I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, and basics. But it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine. But there's, there's also a set of keys here. Now, I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. <gasps> Is the cave. The canyon? Yeah, it is. We do get to go into about? that that place. Man, what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says oh, the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire hasn't spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Okay. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. So we want to go Maybe east. Maybe you need a drink too. No, we're not. In my tower. I am looking at a man oh, standing in your lookout. Oh my and gosh! It's not you. It is not me. Oh, oh my, my God, gosh! Go. I'm going. Okay, guys, this game is escalating really quickly. I want us to go into the cave. But apparently there's someone in my tower. And I can't see where I'm going. And I don't think we're going the right way. No, we just came right back where we came from. Alright. Map. Where are we? Two Forks Lookout Tower. Um, I want to be heading east. There should be a, a route. Well, way back over here, but I'm I'm somehow missing it. No, I need to go south first. What is happening? Um, can I get through here? No. Okay, my map is, I think, I don't think my map is helping me right now. Hey, I got turned around. Is that person still there? No, he's gone. I'll call you when I get back. Oh, we missed, we missed our chance. Okay. Somehow, I think we went the wrong way. We're at the medicine wheel. That means we're... Okay, we want to head east. How do we need to head east? I don't... I am so lost. Okay. Okay, I think this is the way to go. I apologize, guys. Navigation in games is not one of my strong suits. Um, especially when you're recording. <laughs> but uh, hopefully this is the way back. All right, two forks look at tower. Hopefully. Two forks look at tower. Hello. Okay, there's our tower, I can see it. We're back. Let's see what that person came who came into our tower did. Did they pilfer our stuff again? This, I can't believe this is the second time this summer that somebody has entered our tower without us knowing. First, those girls who smashed our typewriter. I don't see anyone up here. She was just there. Left a cassette player taped to my damn door. Don't even know what to say. We to gotta that. listen to it. Well, let's see what's yeah, on it. Yeah, Henry's Henry's on the way. right track. Okay, let's see what it says. Oh no. Oh my gosh. It's a 
tape of us no, talking. No, 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 no. That's the worst Sounds possible like it was thing. from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No. Um. D, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh my God, what the fuck is happening, Henry? Wow. They really just burned the camp down, recorded us entertaining the idea, and are going to blame it on us. I'm surprised we didn't go last night. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. Okay, don't worry. We just, we have to stick together, okay? Keep our story straight, from the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we gotta be honest and consistent. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I know. Damn right we're right. Jonesy Lake. Okay, the cave should be this way, if I recall. Uh, we actually want to head east and then north. Okay, so we're going the wrong direction. Okay. East and then north. This is the path we want to take. Okay, let me just make sure. Perfect. This is the way to head into the cave. Okay. Okay, we're running to the cave as fast as we can get there. Somebody's pretending to be me and spreading misinformation. Like the Lila knows who started the fire. Can't believe these guys. Are you kidding me? Um, I don't know which way is the right way to go. Hey, you... You didn't actually make that call, right? To, to the other lookout? The Lila, you gotta be able to trust us. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kinda just wish I hadn't. The Lila, I would never. Of course I didn't. No way. They're just, they're trying to pit us against each other. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's not gonna happen, though. Thanks, Henry. Okay, Delilah, rest assured, we will not betray you. Flashlight on? Okay, guys. All that time ago when we saw this gate, we finally get to go in. Oh, Henry is not... Not having a good day. You can tell by the way he opened that gate. Okay. What's in here for us? What? Hell? Did they just lock us in? Delilah, someone locked me in the cave. Is this thing working? Oh. Delilah, send someone to the cave, please. Oh my gosh, guys. I have no reception. Somebody just locked me Jesus, into the cave. cave. Long, steep drop. Okay. Loose rocks. Oh my gosh. This is bad. Hope you guys aren't claustrophobic. Oh boy. This flashlight isn't helping much either. 
This is really unsafe. I jump around all I want outside here. like that, but in a cave with loose rocks, no way. Okay. We better get some answers here. I see something down there. What's that red thing? Is anybody down there? A shoe? What? It's not even like a hiking shoe, it's like a basketball shoe. Do you think that person left a key so that we would go in the cave and that they would trap us? Do you think this was a trap? Like they set us up? Oh my gosh, I hope not. Is this fresh air? Oh my gosh. We're out. Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet. Somebody trapped someone tried to trap me, in. me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus. So you, so you didn't find That's anything? That's murder. There's no, one thing they, to like stalk people, it's another to try to murder anger, us. But the hardware's gone now. I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Okay. That sound dangerous. Hike back to Two Forks. Where even are we? Okay. Um, they have a dotted line, so we just need to go south. Okay. Seems work. Seems like that. That makes sense. Okay, let's lower our map. Let's get out of here. What? Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah, he built himself a real castle. Wow. Uh, getting distracted. There's a sense of urgency to getting back to the f tower, but I kind of want to see what this is all about. A bunch of rocks stacked up. You made a wall and a perimeter. Oh, God. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Uh, Whatever all, all these Brian books belong to. Going through this crap, I get, I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry. I mean, he was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. Yeah, he's got banners. Alright. Put the banner down. Got dinosaurs. The Goodwins family crest. That's cool. An old paint can. I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. It's a little weird that he just leaves so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... Uh, I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in Two Forks. I mm. lied. And just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was going to Seems gonna like Delilah's good at lying. Not that it ended up mattering. Alright, let's see what this is. Counterweight, a counterweight, rope spool, pulley, angle control, crank, magnet hook, pack con contents, my rope, our camera, backpack, retrieval plan. This is the backpack he lost. He had a whole plan for a mechanism to, to retrieve it, and he never did it. I mean, it seems like overly complicated, but still cool. Let's tell Delilah. Hey, remember that pack I found? Back on your second day? Yeah. I found a plan Brian drew about how he was going to get it back. Oh, I'm sure it was quite elaborate. It's some overly elaborate. coyote stuff, I'll tell you that much. All right. Let's look at a sign somewhere. Oh my gosh, do we want to raid this? How ham radio waves can use meteors to talk to people far away. What if I told you that you could use meteors in our atmosphere to talk to people far away? You would probably think I'm a liar, but you would be wrong. 
Meteors, the alien rocks that come to our planet from outer space, can be used to bounce ham radio waves off of and let you use your radio much better than normal. Right now you are thinking, okay, Brian, this sounds like a movie, like Flight of the Navigator. It's not real, but you were wrong. It is real. It is science. It is possible because meteor scatter communications. My science fair project proves that meteor scatter communications is real. Wow. Um, Brian was That's doing above a science my head. project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Is that real? Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. What, you're saying I'm one of those knuckleheads, is that it? I wasn't, <laughs> but, um, now that I think about it... Hey, Because I know lots hey. of stuff. Oh, please, drown me in your surplus of knowledge. I've been waiting all these years for a man as wise as you to take this job. Well, that wait's over, sweetheart. Uh, call me sweetheart again, and you'll use that big sexy brain of yours to fill out your unemployment paperwork. Sorry, boss. Wow, Delilah. You set us up you there. You made the place pretty comfy, too. That's an achievement. Yeah, at the expense of what are probably stolen pillows. That little shit. <laughs> All right, guys, I think we are going to end the episode here. Um, this game feels like it's wrapping up. I think we probably have one or two more episodes left. Um, I'm glad that this is not all in our head. Somebody is actually watching us. I mean, I shouldn't say I'm glad. Maybe I'm not glad that somebody's watching us, but I'm glad that we're not crazy. And um, I am scared at all of this leverage they have on us. They could try to blame us for murder of those two girls. They could try to blame us for the arson and starting the forest fire. Um, me and Delilah are in deep, deep, deep shit right now. Um, so stay tuned, guys. Next episode, we're going to see if we can sort this out. We can get to the bottom of who's doing this and why. And hopefully we can stop them. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.